What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today is actually December 24th Christmas Eve and it's actually a really nice day. I think it's like in the low 50s so not too bad at all. You can see all the uh, snow is melting and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be washing the S2000 real quick because she has been sitting in the same exact spot for I believe over a month. I have not driven her. She has not moved. Not sure if the camera will pick it up but she is just filthy. She's got grime and dirt everywhere. Even the plate is all dirty. But before we wash her, we're actually going to be installing a coolant plate. Whoa, I did not think she was going to start. So like I said, she's been sitting for about a month. I think I've only started her about once within that month. Well, she started right up, so let's pull her back, do the cooling plate first, and then we'll get to washing her real quick. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Of course I already opened it because I wanted to see what it looked like. And let me tell you, this thing, pretty badass. And it also came packaged, again, like the wheels came packaged really well. This package also came packaged really well. And I believe it came all the way from Russia. But what we have here is, we have the fancy wide cooling plate. I can already see it. Damn, look at this thing. This thing is fire. Fancy wide sticker on there. But yeah, pretty much just in all flat black. Okay, so here's a shot of the engine bay. She's looking clean but dirty. So the cooling plate is going to go here. Now I never did a cooling plate before on the S2000 but I'm pretty sure we'll take out the uh, radiator stays. One, two, three, four, five screws. I'm not sure if I'll have to take any of the ones for the fenders. Alright so right now I just have it lined up and let me tell you that thing looks sick. But guys this looks really easy so five bolts on the front. The two for the radiator stays and then it should just go down and that should be all that goes into it. I don't think we'll be reusing this part, but I gotta give it a quick wipe down and then we'll put it back and hopefully everything works and we got no issues. So we got that piece out, so as you guys can see really easy, just take out the five Phillips screws or bolts and that's it but this thing is filthy look at this holy so we're gonna come back with a towel clean this up and then hopefully we can put everything back together again I'm not sure if we will be reusing that I don't think so but we'll uh, test it a couple ways and see how it goes That is grimy. Gross. Alright, so I just got one of the radiator stays off and this thing is really, really dirty. So I'm going to try to use, I believe on the Chasing J's burnt titanium stuff, you use a Clorox wipe. Alright guys, so I hit it with some Clorox. So it is not 100%, but it is... A hell of a lot better. Try not to put fingerprints on it. I'll probably grab some gloves in a bit. But this thing came out really nice. So let's take the other one out and we'll do the same thing to that one. So I believe we're ready to put the cooling plate on. Let's do a quick test fit. Oh, that looks nice. Fancy. Alright guys, so I ended up grabbing this piece again. I did try to use it, but if you put this down first and then put the uh, cooling plate over it, 
obviously there will be a bigger gap here so the bolts won't reach and it also doesn't fit right because then it ends up hitting the, uh, the little latch lever so we're going to use it without that piece and I'm going to have to try to kind of figure out how it's going to fit it looks like this is supposed to go over it but I don't know it's going to be a little I don't know if it might be a little off but we'll see all right guys so you learn something new every day so what I actually found out is that that rubber seal actually comes out of that metal bracket and now we can put the rubber seal on this new one there we go I did try to take it out earlier but I didn't think we could but now this should work a lot better there we go guys that's much better so now we got the uh, rubber seal back on so it looks oh yeah mish and it's got this nice cooling plate on it so now I am going to use the same for right now I'm going to use the same bolts for the front but I do plan on getting some burnt titanium bolts to obviously match the other burnt titanium goodies but I believe right now they're sold out so we'll have to wait to get those but for now let's go ahead and put these on Alright guys, so the cooling plate is in. Came out really nice. I do like the flat black. I think it kind of goes with the overall look of the car. But I did use the same stock bolts, which I do like them in the black. But like I said, I'm going to pick up the uh, burnt titanium ones so that it'll go with uh, all the other burnt titanium stuff. And again, this bay is super dirty. But well, that's going to have to be another time. So right now, let's go ahead, close the hood, wash the outside real quick. Alright guys, one thing I forgot to check is uh, we forgot to close the hood, make sure that it works. So let's give it a shot. Hopefully it doesn't hit anything and it works fine. Woo! We got it. So the S2000 is washed, I had to take a little quick break to take these guys out. We don't have any accidents inside. Right, buddy? Hey, who has accidents inside? It's you, huh? It's you, Rex. Come here, ghost. <laughs> what a maniac. But yeah, most of the snow already um, melted. And I think we're supposed to get a bunch of rain today and tomorrow. I think later on today and possibly tomorrow. But yeah, let's uh, take these guys out to do their business, and then we'll get back to the S2000. Alright guys, so that's going to be it. So the S2000 has been washed, the cooling plate has been installed. And yes, we could have done a better job washing her, but that will do for now. She is nice and clean again. This is not a show car. This is a car that is driven. Hopefully next year, like I said, we can take her to the track and see what she's all about. And again, I have been really enjoying having no wipers. Again, obviously if it rains, we're kind of screwed. But she does look really nice and clean without the wipers. So there she is guys, soon she will be going away, but for now she's going to go back in the carport. Unfortunately, I think the roads still have some salt on them, so I'm not going to go for a drive even though I would like to. And I'm not sure if I said it yet or not, but today is Christmas Eve and the weather is beautiful. It's like in the low 50s I believe, so that's why I took the opportunity to give her a quick wash. But, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting the video this weekend or possibly next weekend, but either way, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. 
So I'll catch you guys on the next one. With that being said, keep on driving.